In this video, I'd like to continue the discussion about exponents, but this time I want to focus more on negative exponents. So we have this example problem here, 2 to the minus 3 power, and essentially we need to know how can we evaluate something like this. And before we can directly answer this question, we first want to see if we can notice a pattern in the exponents. So let me make a little bit of room, and what we're going to do, I'll use the number 2, so let's say we have 2 to the first, 2 squared, 2 cubed, and 2 to the fourth. So 2 to the first power is just 2 multiplied by itself one time. So that would just be a 2. 2 squared, 2 multiplied by itself twice would give us 4. 2 cubed, that is 3 2's multiplied together, that gives us 8. And 2 to the fourth is essentially 2 times bigger than this, because now we're multiplying by a fourth 2. So this would be 16. And the question we can ask is what kind of pattern do we have when we are going up from one step to the next? So going from 2 to the first to 2 to the second, you can notice that we multiply by 2. And same thing when we go from 2 squared to 2 cubed, we multiply by 2. And again, going up to 2 to the fourth, we multiply by 2. So going up, we multiply. And going down, we can ask ourselves what the pattern is there. So going from 2 to the fourth to 2 cubed, or going from 16 to 8, it looks like in this case we divided by 2. And going down again, we are going from 8 to 4, which again is division by 2. And one more step, we again divide by 2. And basically, we can keep going. We can ask ourselves, what does it mean to raise something to the 0 power? So we're going to continue the pattern. We're just going to divide by 2 again. And essentially, we were starting at a value of 2 for 2 to the first. And then to get to 2 to the 0, we divide this by 2. So 2 to the 0 is 2 over 2, which is 1. And what you'll see, if you carry out this pattern with any base, it doesn't have to be 2. It could be something like 5 or 7 or 115 or any number. And what you'll find is that anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So even if you have something like 1,092 raised to the 0 power, that is still equal to 1. But essentially, it's due to this pattern. So if you're unconvinced that this would also be 1, then redo this, but using 20 as your base instead of 2. And it should make sense. But the truth is, there's no reason that we got to stop at 2 to the 0 power. We can keep going and look at 2 to the minus 1 power. Because again, we're just going to continue that pattern and divide by 2. So here we were at 1, and now we're dividing by 2, so 2 to the minus 1 is 1 half. And if we continue this, so if we have 2 to the minus 2, again just following this pattern, dividing by 2, we have 1 half divided by 2, but if you're dividing by a fraction, so we can make this into 2 over 1, it's the same thing as multiplying by that fraction's reciprocal, so we can make that 1 half times 1 half instead of 1 half divided by 2, since these are the same thing. And when we multiply fractions, we just go straight across in the numerator and denominator. So we get 1 over 4, or I'll write it as 1 over 2 squared. So 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared. You could have written this as 1 over 2 to the first if you wanted. And if we look at 2 to the minus 3, we're again going to divide by 2. But what you'll see is that this is simply 1 over 2 to the third power. So basically, if you have a negative exponent, you're just going to put it in the denominator and make it positive. So let's say we have 4 to the minus 5 power. This would just be 1 over 4 to the positive 5 power. Or if we have something like 2 to the minus 17 power, this would just be 1 over 2 to the 17 power. And one further way you could think about this is that for normal exponents, so something like 2 to the fourth power, you can think about this as repeated multiplication. But on the other side of this, when you have negative exponents, so in this case, something like 2 to the minus 4, then you can think of this as repeated division. We're essentially dividing by 2 four times. And that should make sense because we know 2 to the minus 4 is just 1 over 2 to the fourth. So it's like you're dividing by 2 four different times. So negative exponents, we can think of, instead of repeated multiplication for normal exponents, 
negative exponents would be repeated division. And at this point, just to finish our discussion, we can essentially look at the opposite kind of problem. Like what if we had one over five to the fourth power? We can rewrite this using negative exponents. So this could be written as five to the minus four power, since having an exponent of minus four essentially just means divide by five four different times. And it doesn't specifically have to have numbers in it, it could have variables as well. So we could have something like one over a to the ninth power, and this would just be a to the minus nine, since we're essentially dividing by a nine different times. Or we can even have variables for everything. So let's say we have one over b to the y, this would just be b to the minus y. We're essentially dividing by b y times.